Hello and welcome back, I'm DMAC and today I thought I'd do something just a little bit different. Um, I've got a package which I received this week. Um, so this is something that I bought off of uh, the UK Discord, uh, was advertised for sale uh, by the Bear Jew on uh, UK Discord. And I've not seen one of these for sale in the UK and I couldn't resist uh, buying it to uh, try giving it a pick. So I thought it'd be fun today to open this one up um, on the camera and see what we think of it. Um, seems pretty well packaged. Um, and there we go, lots of bubble wrap which we like to see. Now, um, on chatting to the pair you, um, it was apparent that this uh, lock isn't in one piece. It's actually uh, disassembled. Um, I don't really know the backstory to that. I, um, I didn't pry, <laughs> pry too much into it. I'm not sure if um, it was disassembled and couldn't be put back together, or it was, uh, you know, disassembled for research purposes, which is always a favourite for me. But I thought it might be fun to put him together. Oh, very heavy. To try and uh, sort out this puzzle uh, together on camera and see if we can get this. Uh, this lock back together. I mean, look at that, that is an absolute beast. Uh, so this is an Asta Twin V10 Mogul. Um, just not sure if I've got a normal sized rim cylinder to compare to. There you go, so that's a Yale. Yeah, absolute beast. I think this, this one might be above my uh, current picking level. Um, but I thought it would be fun to, uh, I think, uh, certainly for myself, when I'm, uh, I'm just trying to find a screwdriver, one sec. Certainly for myself, when I get a new lock, something that I'm unfamiliar with, um, quite often I will take it all apart, uh, just to try and understand how it works. Um, so I guess this is kind of like doing the same thing, but it's in reverse because, um, it's already in pieces uh, before we start, so before I get too carried away, let's get the pinning tray out and get everything organised before it ends up loose all over my desk. So, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. So I think that plug is very much like a normal... You get that in a lot of... Um, a lot of assets. I've got one there. I think that's the same size plug, and you've got that little cover which sits on it like that. Oh, it's got two grooves either side of it there, and that allows that front plate to slide on. So, if we look there, we've got counter milling, so we know we're dealing with barrels, um, and I've got a bag full of bits now. Um, the bear Jew did say that not all of these bits are for this lock, so I've got a real puzzle on my hands here. And since I've never seen one of these before, um, that looks like the pin's there for it and the sidebar. Um, so from chatting um, to the seller, what he said is when he got this, it didn't come with a key. Um, and he had this key made and some pins sent down. So I think what we've got here... Uh, looking at it, we've got a couple of random pins, like there's some gin pins there, which don't belong in this lock with that counter milling. So we can discard them, I think. And then I think there's two sets of sidebar and pins. Um, and I'm not sure which one is which. So I just thought we'd put this together, try and figure out this puzzle together. So springs are in there, and it looks like we've got tiny springs in there. So I think what I might do is start with the springs. Looks like we've got master wafers in there as well. Oh, and that's one of the sidebar pins there. I've not seen this, this type before in the flesh. It looks like we've got a, uh, a true gate there in the middle and some false gates as well. Interesting. So let's get these pins out first of all and try and figure where everything goes. As I said earlier, I really like the, the puzzle solving aspect of lock picking. Um, to actually pick the lock, but then I really enjoy you know, just taking them apart also, make sure that's empty. Yeah, taking them apart and figuring out 
um, what goes where. I just lost a couple of springs there. So these are tiny springs, so they will be for the sidebar pins, I think. Let's separate these out. That's a key pin spring. They really get stuck well together, these springs, I find, if you give them a little bit of a twist in the right direction. Uh, they'll undo themselves. I think taking locks apart, um, sometimes I do it for progressive pinning, but other times um, I just uh, do it for fun, but it really you really get to know the lock intimately. Uh, once you understand all of the working parts, um, this is a bit of a mess, once you understand all those working parts, hopefully it gives you a better appreciation of you know how to how to pick the lock, how to approach it, what tools to use, all that sort of thing. So I'm think I think from what I can see, we've got three different sizes of springs here. So it's certainly going to be an interesting lock to play with. This one is proving difficult. There we go. Right. So we've got the six springs there. I'm going to zoom you in. There we go. So hopefully you can see it a bit better. So we've got the six springs there. And then we've got these smaller springs, of which I've got one, two, three, four, five. And then I've got these two tiny springs. So I'm guessing the two tiny springs are the sidebar. Uh, these springs will be uh, this element on the side uh, of the key. And these will be the uh, normal springs. So let's get this bag out. Now this bag is separate, which that leads me to believe we've got six barrels, six pins, and a sidebar in there. So I think that this um, is uh, for the actual the working key, and a lot of these parts would be old parts, which is great because then that means I've got spare parts as well. So let's um, tip these out here. see what we've got so that's the sidebar and looking at it oh, get in focus you've got cuts on the sidebar so I'd assume that all of the pins that go with this would have the same the same cuts on them and the bit in um, is matched on the sidebar so that's the sidebar that's the sidebar springs and then we've got let's get all these barrels up here And then to find out which key pins are which, we need to look at the key. So the highest cut, um, which is up there in position one. So we've got position uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we look there, we can certainly see that the highest pin, which will be the smallest pin, is in one. And the deepest cut, which will be the longest pin, is in six. So that looks to me to be the longest pin, so we'll pop them in six. And the shortest pin is in one. There we go. And if we pop the key in, there we go. We can see that those are both flush. So that's definitely uh, right. Okay, let's look now. So if we look at cut number one, two, three, cut number four, that's got the second shortest pin. So that will be that one. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, we're slowly solving this puzzle. Um, and then the next shortest pin, I think, is two. Which looks to be that one. Excellent. And then of the last two, the longest one will be in three. Which is that one, I believe. Yep, and that one, there we go. So we've got all of the pins and they're all sitting flush. Something that I like to do just to test that I've got it right. I mean, I, I can see from this that I have got it right, I think, is just slip it into this little uh, core holder and give it a turn. And if nothing catches uh, on those two edges, then we know that we've got all the key pins uh, in place. So that's that. Then the next puzzle, um, if we look at the barrels here, 
zoom you in a bit, you can see that the barrels are different uh, sizes, and that's because uh, uh, ASA tend to have balanced stacks. So if we look there, what we've got to do is put the deepest barrel with the, the smallest pin. So the smallest pin is one, and the deepest, let's just organize these. So we've got from longest to smallest, I think it's pretty much there. So the longest one needs to go in one, so that's correct. And we've got another long one to go into four, so that's correct. The shortest one will definitely be in six, which is correct currently. Um, and the next shortest one is five. So actually, I think I've actually, by well, absolute fluke, I think I've arranged those uh, in the way they need to be. So if I drop those in, that seems to be about right to me. Uh, three. Yep. Four. Five. Six. Almost lost one. Two and one. Right, so we've got that right. We've got the key pins right. So now we just need to figure out uh, this sidebar element. But before we do that, I think I'm going to make some room on here um, and populate um, the chamber there. So hopefully yeah, my follower fits in. And what did I lose? Lost something. No, all of our pins are in place. I think something pinged off of the tray there. So let's try and figure out how to get this in. So let's put springs in first. This thing is really heavy actually. I think from what I've, um, the videos I've seen, uh, this is a, um, used. it was used in prisons, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Really fiddly job this. We've got two at the back there. Don't think you can actually see this too well, so just bear with me. Okay, let me put the follower in, being careful not to squash any springs as we do it. The way I like to do this is to put as many pins as I can in from the back. And I know the front should be easier to load. Reason being, um, the gap at the back is longer, so you've got further to reach down. So I can I can get to pin uh, four, I think. So let's put in four. Just see, it's held in place there by the follower. Give him a little push, move the follower forward. In. So we just got to do one, two, and three. So put, move this follower back until I can see one, two, and three. There we go. Three, two, and one. Oops. And you can just see there on the left uh, the recess for the sidebar. Right, so that is all populated now, so we'll get that one out of the way. I think what we need to do now is probably figure out the sidebar. Now, some of the acid twins that I've seen previously, um, you put the pins in and the sidebar, uh, when you put the key in, sorry, it holds all the pins in. So I'm hoping that's the case now. But what we need to figure out is the sidebar orientation. Um, yeah, it's not symmetrical, so it will make a difference. But does it go in both ways? Let's try that way first of all. 
that goes in that way. Tell you what, actually, I'm going to dump out these keepings because I'm sure that I will lose them. So go, the sidebar goes in that way. So let's see if he goes in the other way. If I can get him out. Um, there we go. So if I just turn him around. Okay, he goes in both ways and it looks symmetrical. So it is going to make a difference. Um, it is going to make a difference. I'm not too sure. <laughs> this is the part of figuring out the puzzle. Okay. Tell you what we should probably do um, is have a look at the pins for the sidebar. So, one, two, three, four. Right, and I think something pinged off earlier and it went over there. So I think what I'm going to do is go and find it because I think that's going to be the fifth pin for the sidebar. And uh, hopefully I can find that and we can figure out uh, where it goes. So bear with. So I managed to find that spring. It was indeed. It would be typical. I've got all these parts up here. And when I dropped something earlier, it hit the um, sidebar pin and it went flinging off over there. So I had to kind of clear my desk to uh, find out where it was. Okay, so where were we? Right, all the keepings are taken out, so what we need to do is to figure out which way that sidebar goes. Um, I think all the keep it, all the, I'm not sure, I think these are finger pins, I think that's what I'm going to call them. If I'm wrong, do tell me in the comments. So they're all the same. Um, some um, asses, the, the, the bitting is determined by the finger pins in some combis, and sometimes it's determined by the sidebar. And you can tell that by looking at the sidebar, and if all the cuts are exactly the same, which on this one they're not. You can see we've got high in the middle and there's a low there. That one's slightly higher. It's it's not symmetrical, it's, so the bitting is, is contained on the sidebar. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the uh, uh, all these finger pins in um, and then put the key in and then should be able to just, that, that would hopefully the, the sidebars, the, the gates would line up and then we can just put the sidebar in one way or the other. So these little springs just drop in here. Let's zoom you in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. And hopefully I'm not going to lose any <laughs> any more parts uh, assembling this bad boy. When you're working with these really small springs, you've got to be super careful. Not like that, because they just tend to fly about everywhere. I managed to find that one. Okay, that's five springs all sitting in there where they should be. So now we can just drop. If you look at these finger pins as well, you've got a hollow on the bottom and that side, and that tells you that hollow goes towards the spring. Um, and also that cut there in the pin needs to face the sidebar. So hopefully it is just a sort of kind of a logic puzzle, really. Where's the cut? Yeah, a logic puzzle. Sorry, my focus there. To get this thing assembled. It looks like all the parts are there, which is something I was worried about, knowing that it was in pieces. All right, so they're all sitting there. Aren't they? So if I get the key now, and I sort of push them down and feed the key in, hopefully the key should kind of force them into the correct position. Very fiddly old job this is. Come on, last one in. There we go. Okay, so I'm just looking at it now, just checking everything. So you can see those those finger pins are near at different heights. 
um, and you've got some all the, the gates are lined up differently so that one on the end is kind of in the middle that one in four is quite high that one in three is very low that one in two is in the middle and that one in two is kind of in the middle as well so this sidebar will fit in one way or the other so I think the best thing to do is to get our springs in you've got two springs that sit at either end oh. keep dropping it, where did he go? oh there he is super fiddly job Okay, he's in very fiddly job there. So this will fit in one way or the other way, but not both. It's 50-50 as to whether we get it the first time or not. And we did. First time, yeah. So you can see there, I'm pushing the sidebar all the way in. And then that plug, if I get my, there we go. See slides in and that sidebar uh, retracts. Superb. Okay, we are making progress. Now it's time to just put these key pins back in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So again, they're all sitting flush. We'll check it again in the holder. I'm not going to turn this too far. If I turn this 90 degrees and that sidebar will ping straight up and out, but can see there it all clears so we're ready to put this in what we will need to do however just realized is put the face on we didn't put the face on so which way does this go wish I'd done that first Just got to get that last key um, finger pin down. Yeah. Oh, that was close. <laughs> right, okay, all the pins are sitting flush, sidebars sitting flush, and the finger pins are retained. So, I believe we can just slide this one straight in now. And there we go. Now, before any disasters happen, let's get this uh, piece back on, this tail piece. I feel safer once these screws are in, because then I know I'm not going to drop that plug out and spill all the contents and <clears throat> have to start it all over again. Okay, towel piece is on, works fine, and the key comes out. I would say that that is a, that is a success. Well, that was quite an exciting uh, video for me. I hope it was for you. Um, like I say, I, I really like puzzles, and uh, as nice it would, as nice as it is to just receive locks in the post and um, that you that you bought and um, you know get to picking them. I think doing it this way, it's a really you know, you really, I've really got to know this lot quite intimately, and I think you guys have as well. I think um, it looks like there's grub screws at the top there. I've just noticed that. I can just see. I think those grub screws are recessed quite deep. 
uh, which makes sense because uh, this is quite tall so I'm glad those grub screws are in there because when I started this I would have put those springs in they'd have all fallen out and uh, everything would have gone wrong anyway there we go that is the Asa Twin V10 Mogul big thanks to the Bear Jew for putting this up for sale uh, it's gone to a good home mate and I will really enjoy trying to pick this I think as I say I've, I've not I've not actually picked any sort of uh, Asa combis yet Sometimes they come with you know various pins combinations and sidebars, and sometimes some of them only got three pins down the bottom. Um, but I'm really going to enjoy uh, playing with this one. And there you go, it's all working perfectly. And um, no disasters. So anyway, thanks for watching today, um, and uh, I'll see you next time.